Hello guys, so it was a very, very, very recent discovery in dreams, dreams, that they were able to communicate with people in lucid dreams. With my, with the rules and laws of the universe, this makes total and utter sense. Okay, materialism, of course, cannot explain this. Materialism, of course, which is the you know, standard model of the how humanity currently views the universe. You know, the materialist, communist, you know, atheist view of the world, you know, is effectively wrong. So basically, this study was basically someone who was lucid dreaming. You know, they were dreaming. They, they were lucid dreaming. And they were able to make this person speak. Despite the person being unconscious and despite the person dreamy okay it's only more emphatical proof that humans have a soul it's only and all organisms and all species see it is no surprise that 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 is happening and of course the standard model of how humanity views the universe of course the it is collapsing. It, it has been collapsing. Materialism has been collapsing for the longest of times. Okay. E. And materialism ha cannot explain co what consciousness is, and never will explain what consciousness is, because according to materialism, consciousness and brain are the same. Even though there is a lot of proof against it. But of course, science will ignore and just call it a hallucination and say it's, there's no such thing, of course. But it gives us more insight to our dreams. Yep, our dreams. Okay. Lucid dreams, which of course is dreams where we basically realize that, hey, this is a dream, this is not real, basically. There, there you know, that's what a lucid dream is. They realize that it's a dream. You know, essentially, they, they realize it's not real, and that it's just simply a dream. It is a very, very real occurrence, occurrence, but it does happen. It does happen. It is a dream that feels so real as well. As well. So, yep, there we go. So, so what can we get from lucid dreams? What can we understand from this study? We can understand that every human and every person has a soul, okay? Of course, science will tell you that. Science will just see those review the same, same things over and over and over again. But this is no surprise given all of the studies, given all of the studies of humanity, of humans having a soul, which is the consciousness that all creatures and all living organisms have. All living organisms have a consciousness and has been evolving for millions, billions, or even trillions of years. Consciousness has been evolving through, uh, through, through life and death, okay? For example, the world of all consciousness is, of course, single-celled organisms, because they're just dying out as well. Then we get to, like, insects, bugs, you know, those types of creatures. You know, and then the intelligence, incre intelligence increases and increases by by the time we go higher. For example, human intelligent life is the highest form. Okay. Intelligent life forms are the highest form one of the highest forms of consciousness that is out there. Because you have achieved it. You have achieved intelligence. And you don't ever go below intelligent life. Okay, you never go below intelligent life. Because it's act it's effectively detrimental for your consciousness to go below intelligent life. It's absolutely detrimental for your consciousness. It's, it's, you don't ever take a step back on the ladder, okay, of evolution. You don't ever take a step back of the ladder of evolution. And yet, given how the universe works, this makes no surprise that we are in a, you know, spiritual, energy, plasma, electric-based universe, okay? You know... Pure energy, pure electricity, pure plasma. Okay, this universe. Again, the standard model basically says 
you know, the same thing every single time. They say the same stuff every single time. And the materialist vision of society, you know, is basically all about fear mongering. Okay, the materialist view of society is basically all about fear mongering. Okay, which is where death anxiety comes from. Because people view the mainstream version of how people live. Okay, the mainstream world. Even though there is a lot of proof of the afterlife that we that our consciousness does survive death. There is a ton of empirical proof. Okay? People remembering their past lives, past life regression, lives between lives progressing and of course near death experiences. Which of course all those are being studied, of course. And I that's why I said in the future of humanity that the that the the Study of consciousness is one of the most important studies humans are going to have. Because they're going to be shocked of what consciousness truly is. The true nature of consciousness. And materialism, of course, has failed every time to explain what consciousness is. Materialism has failed every single time. Materialism cannot explain consciousness. It never will and it never can because materialism is at a dead end. It is essentially at a dead end. Okay. Most advanced. And most of. You know. More advanced civilizations. And my, and not just me. Many other people who have experienced. Who have remembered past lives. Most advanced civilizations. Are very 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 spiritual. Okay. Very 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 spiritual. They, they are. With very very few exceptions. For example, like the Gigantians, who only care about conquering. I mean, but again, they already created and discovered immortality. The, the, but the Gigantians, even the Gigantians, both of them were spiritual. They, they were, they knew what they, they were more open than you know modern day materialist, communist, you know, atheism tries to tell you. Okay, because we all know communism is basically an atheist. You know, ideology. They basically try to remove the spirit and soul from everything. And another odd thing is, even in communist countries, people are having near death experiences. In China, you know, is one of those countries. The people, even in people in China, it's a universal thing that people are having, of course. And I do believe that more and more people actually experience them, but of course, it's blocked off by all the drugs and stuff. And of course, because humans don't remember, you know, humans, of course, are very poor at remembering things. Okay, you know, it's like it's like remembering all of our dreams. Okay, we don't remember all of our dreams, of course. We don't remember them. Okay, most people don't remember all of our dreams. I remember most of my dreams, actually. I remember most of my dreams. Okay, I actually believe that dreams, you know, are a way for your con con for consciousness to communicate. Okay, that's why you always see people that you have seen. In your dream. That, that, that you never see people you don't know. Okay. You never see people you do not know. Okay. They're in your dreams. You always see. Usually see people you do know. Okay. Which. You know. You know. You always see people you know in your dreams. You don't see people you do not know. Outside of your dreams. Okay. For example most of my dreams. It's mostly people that I know. Or I have met. In my life. Okay. One of the most common dreams I have is going to my grandmother's house. That's that's like one, my most common dream is essentially is going there. Okay, going there. That's my most common dream. I you know besides going to a school or a building, you know, seeing people I know is the seeing, seeing my grandma. Okay, so going to her house. That is the most common dream I have. About it, and of course, my grandma is still alive. You know, if for anybody's asking, she's still she's she, she's not dead. You know, dead. But what well, explains a lot because people have been, people have communicated with deceased loved ones in their dreams, basically telling them they are okay. So of course, there is a another dimension, another part of reality of this universe. Of course, science does not know about about. You know, there and dream and studying dreams is one step to understanding through the true nature of consciousness, understanding and our dreams, and of course studying 
you know, lucid dreams. Of course, they found out what lucid dreams are. They found out that they can communicate people who are lucid dreaming. Which only further proves that, yeah, hum- humanity has a soul. Humans have souls. And maybe, maybe in the far, near near future, they can, wouldn't be surprised if we have a similar technology that can communicate with people, you know, after de- after they died without, you know, the use of mediums, mediums. But of course, they already can communicate with the dead, obviously. But I wouldn't be surprised that there was a technology, a technology to communicate with well long lost relatives even after their death, which would be a very, very, very good relief. Okay. The problem with the materialist view of society is, you know, the whole thing of death anxiety. Of course, death anxiety comes from two things. Okay. Which is the materialist view of how people view death. And of course, the fear of going to hell. The fear of going to hell for eternal torment. That is the other thing people feel. Is, is hell, of course. You know, there. There. Basically, there. But of course, people don't realize that we, humanity, we are human, our consciousness, our humanity, are the gods. Okay, we, humanity, are the gods. For example, look at all the things we're te- developing. Okay, we are the ones that are shaping this planet. This planet is actually, because we also have the astral realm, the astral realm, which again is a basically a perfect place. But the problem is, our planet can also be heaven or hell, and come and now a lot of people want to come back here. Why? It's because we humanity is making this planet into hell. Humanity. Is the ones making it hell, okay? And it's mostly because of the you know the way humanity you know is treating the planet first of all, okay? Again, we are moving past it, okay? And of course, let's not forget the communist view of how you know the standard way people view everything, okay? You know. People have a complete fear of a lot of things because people, you know, are scared by believing, you know, because they believe in the standard model of things. They believe in the standard model. But again, the mainstream view of things is that there is, of course, nothing. You don't exist after you die, which is completely, completely contradicts, especially the first law of thermodynamics. Well... You know, energy can never go away. It only changes forms. But again, most people who had a near-death experience, basically, yeah, that's what happens. Your your energy, your consciousness, changes forms. Okay, into this other dimension as well. But of course, you know, most people, you know, are blind. They, they, they only view stuff from us here. Okay, they only view stuff from here. But that's the whole problem is that we are making this planet a horrible place. We're making this planet hell. We can make this planet good or bad. And once humanity discovers, of course, immortality, that's when we can ascend to the godlike race that the universe envisioned us to be. That's the reason why we are intelligent beings, is because the universe does not want us to die. Okay? They want us to make this planet Heaven. They want us to make this planet essentially heaven. No one dies on this planet, of course, because humans are essentially a godlike race. So it's a reason why. And it does not does not just apply to humans. Okay, it applies to all creatures, all animals. Okay, the desire is to make the world better. Okay, but humanity does not view that. They they don't view that their way. They don't view it that their way. Currently, humanity is in a dark age. This dark age essentially started in 1900. Okay, yes, even the great 90s and 80s and 70s, that was still a part of the dark age of humanity. Why? It is because of the ideology of communism, an ideology of death, hate, and destruction. That's what essentially communism is. There is nothing good about an ideology of death, hate, and destruction. Okay? Communism is essentially a deafest view of life. Okay? You know, it's essentially the deafest view of life. That's how, basically, you know, most of them vote for one. You know, most of them, you know, are 
mostly, you know, the same. They they could they go after people that they don't like or don't agree with. But they don't realize but they're another human. Despite them having different opinions, they're still another human. They're still another soul. And then again, communism, they completely kick out the soul completely. They completely you know, they don't allow, you know, the soul. Again, I used to be just like that too. I used to be a very, very not good person. Okay, but I am wanting to get be a better person. But communists, they completely kick out the soul. They completely kicked out any ounce of spirituality out of the life. You know, they don't they don't they don't see no God. Cause if you were really look at because we were such a religious thing. Okay? People from atheists and agnostics, which you know, for example, even Alexander he was an atheist. He did not believe in no God, but he had a near-death experience, and he was woken up to there being a God. Okay, with the God, of course, is this universe. Universe is the God, and actually, humanity, our gods themselves as well. Okay, humanity, our gods, all living organisms have the potential to become God. But I believe the whole purpose of humans, of being a human, okay, is to understand the fundamental rules and laws of the universe. Whereas, of course, communism and materialism has completely failed to understand. They have completely failed to understand the complete truth of the universe. They completely failed to understand it. And of course, I like science. I like worrying about science and stuff. But... The whole point of reincarnation, dying, and being born is evolution, okay? Is evolution, okay? Evolution of the human race, okay? So basically, if you want to stay in the communist, materialist, atheist view of life, you will never evolve. You will essentially stay at that point because you can't under because you can't move past the material view of society, okay? The whole point is to, first of all, merge the both sides, okay? What do you mean by both sides? The physical and the spiritual. That's the whole point. That's what I mean by transcending reality and becoming a god like create race. Because eventually, humanity will have the means to transcend the natural laws and the natural rules of the universe, okay? To become a god-like civilization. To become a god-like race, obviously. Of course. And for humanity to become a godlike race, we're going to have to unite. We're going to have to abandon these old rules and old rules, this old materialistic view of society. This whole materialistic view of society. So, of course, the new discovery in Roots of Dreaming is nothing surprising at all. Let's point more and more and more towards the truth of the universe. The truth of the universe that people do not know. The truth of the universe, of course. That we humans have the potential to become eternal beings. Okay? We'll be able to create be able to be physical and non physical at will without the need of dying ever again. That's the whole goal and destiny of an intelligent creature. An intelligent creature. And soon humanity will have the technology to do it. But the only problem is that we have to get out. Of this dark age and materialistic view of society. And more and more and more of these. More and more and more studies when they go into dreams and stuff. Okay. When they go into dreams. Okay. Where dreams is basically souls and spirits and consciousness completely talking to each other. Or communicating. Okay. Because no matter how much you hate someone. Or no matter how much you don't like someone. Nobody is truly evil. Okay, because the soul is not evil. Okay, they can't be evil because the soul is a blank slate, essentially. Thus, experiencing life through a view of a vessel. With a course. A course. And there are people who don't want to come back to this planet. Why? People don't people don't want to come to this planet? Because we're making this planet hell. That's the reason why so little people don't understand the truth. They would rather be they would rather be stuck in believing the materialist view of society. That's why some people are so scared of reincarnation. 
because they don't want to come back to this planet or any other planet again because we humanity is making our planet hell we are the ones turning earth into hell okay but we don't have to turn earth into hell we can turn earth into heaven well we become immortal okay no more aging no more getting old okay no more becoming eventually a race where we can basically become both you know a physical being and a non-physical being becoming a godlike race that is what the universe envisioned for all creatures that's what the universe envisioned for us and we must achieve that or else we'll continue reincarnating and reincarnating again and humanity will get nowhere okay as well that's why throughout generations humanity has gotten smarter and smarter humanity has only gotten smarter and smarter okay that is because and again there are of course certain parts of the human race that are of course behind others of course but again the more dumber humans as i say or the less intelligent humans. Of course, not all all humans are still intelligent. It's because the non-intelligent people, the less intelligent people, are newer to intelligence. Okay, they just achieved it from being from being you know in the near intelligence category. They just achieved it, so they're new to become an intelligent being, which is basically a new soul. A new soul is essentially a being a soul that is now is just going on the first ride to, be, to intelligence. To becoming intelligent, okay. Animals are only going up the ladder and gain intelligence to becoming human. Human, of course. That's a, again. It's not just be. It's not just humans. Of course, other planets and other universe that you can also go to, but they also come to Earth. They also come to Earth. Other intelligent beings also reincarnate on Earth. Earth reincarnation is a simple natural cycle of this universe. Verse. Universe essentially reuses consciousness over and over and over again. So consciousness can continue to evolve. Whereas again, the whole point of life is to evolve. The whole point of life is to evolve until we can eventually beat the natural rules of the universe and become gods. That's, that's the again I'll explain that like ten times. But yeah. The whole new discovery of lucid dreams is no surprising that we are that humanity will solely realize that materialism is fake. Materialism and communism and atheism and all of this stuff that's fat that all spawned around the same time. Okay, all spawned around the same time. Humanity is only starting to realize this, start to realize this, and tell it that you know, Dale, Dale. So, yep, that's basically it about this video. Goodbye.